Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Kathy McCardle here from Bridges of Wisconsin in West Bend, Wisconsin. Thank you for jumping on, Kathy. Good morning. It's good to be here. I love what we talked about before I pressed record. You have a really neat mission-based business, and you're really helping people throughout the state of Wisconsin. If you don't mind, I'd love to talk about Bridges of Wisconsin and share the great work that you're doing. Is that okay? Absolutely. Right. So when you, when people ask you how you describe Bridges of Wisconsin, how do you describe your business? What do you do? We provide assisted living to adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities, and that takes the place of small group homes. So, so cool. And you, you have a ton of, of experience in this industry. You've th seen things change over the past 30 years. What were your plans when you started the business and how have things changed? Give us a little bit of the history that you shared with me. Well, honestly, um, I've spent pretty much my whole adult life um, in this industry. And when I started working in this field, I just really wanted a stable job while I got through school. Um, but instead, I found a focus on the support and the mission and what we were providing to people. And so after about a decade of investing in the lives of people with disabilities, my husband and I decided that it would be a long-term future for us. And at that point in 1994, we incorporated as Bridges of Wisconsin. Oh, cool. So when you started, you were just looking for stability. And now you're providing stability for so many in that peace of mind and that in assurance that they've got quality care and, and support. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It, it, it has definitely been a journey. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So this is a no-brainer, but I'd love for you to expand a little bit. What is the biggest way that you're impacting the community? I mean, really talk about the different ways. Well, I guess we see our impact being very individualized, um, that it's, it's having an impact on one life, one individual, helping them achieve um, their goals, helping them feel like their life matters, that they're not just being taken care of, but that they're engaged in their life. Um, and then by extension, that touches families, that touches neighborhoods, that touches communities, but it's really very individually focused. Well, and what I love that you talked about is it used to be, you know, 60 years ago, we had like three institutions throughout the state. And now you're helping people stay in their communities so they can be around the things that they love to do, the people that they love, and so, so different from, from what they could have experienced, you know, almost a, or a century ago, right? Right. Just because a person's family members can't necessarily provide them the care and supervision that they need throughout the duration of their life, um, doesn't mean that they should need to be moved away, doesn't mean that they should need to be housed exclusively with other people with disabilities, doesn't mean that they don't want to, you know, have their brother come over and watch the Packer game with them or be invited to a uh, family dinner on Sunday. Uh, part of institutionalizing people really was disrupting family and community life. And so when um, people with disabilities were able to remain in their communities and engage in their communities, it was uh, a restoration of families as well as neighborhoods and community. Absolutely. And, and I think most people can agree that's what life is about, our relationships, our family, our community, and just feeling safe and loved and supported and in just having that quality of life and that's something that you're providing and helping people with so absolutely incredible I love I love this so what is one challenge that you have faced that other business owners can learn from I know this is a challenging industry <laughs> feel free to share as much as you want well I don't know that anyone can learn from us um, the challenge the greatest challenge that we have faced over the years has definitely been staffing. Mm -hmm. You know, we provide a number of jobs in Washington County. We're based in Washington County. At one time, we we had spread out into other counties, 
but really the the lack of being able to keep positions filled has caused us to um, kind of pull back and we downsized significantly last year in order to keep our program staffed. But you know, all of us might go through a season of life where you take a job just because you need a job. You need to you need to pay the rent or you need to put food on the table. And it's not something that you really see yourself doing long term or feel passionate about, but it's it's a means to an end. And the problem for us is while some people might come in with that mindset the job that we offer cannot be that job. It just simply cannot. These are people's lives. They need to know that they are not just a job for you. They need to know that you are not just there putting in time so that you can pay your rent. They need to know when you come on shift that they matter to you and that, um, that you are going to work hard to make sure that they are not only safe and not only healthy, but that they have some joy, that they have some fun, that they grow um, in their own goals. And so even though um, we're offering people <laughs> holiday work, nights and weekends, and not necessarily the highest pay, um, we still need this to be something that people are drawn to because they're passionate about and because they are going to be willing to make a connection with our clients that goes beyond just a job to do and a paycheck to earn. Absolutely. And if more people would, would go to their job or their place of employment and really feel that they have a greater purpose besides just putting food on the table. I think this world would be very, very different. You know, that's something our coaches really work with on culture and just making people understand that there's a bigger mission outside of themselves. So yeah, that's yeah. I think in the in the recent trend of the great resignation, one of the things that seems to be lost is that it takes a village that every person plays a role. And the role that you play right now may not be the role that you play in 20 years. Um, it may be a stepping stone, but it's still an important role to play. You know, I rely on other people to get food to my table. I, I, can't, I can't grow my own food. I can't package my own food. Um, I don't operate a store. So whether you're the stocker or the farmer, you play an important role in the community. And so again, for our clients, even if your long-term goals are different, the role that you're playing here and now is very important in their lives. Mm -hmm. Huge challenge, but thank you for sharing that. So what does the future look like to Bridges of Wisconsin? And do you have an exit plan? I don't have a very solid exit plan. Um, although when my husband passed away, my son did come up into management with me. And so he has been um, my partner and coworker for the last seven years. And he was already working in the business, but not in a, in a management role. So um, he has expressed an interest in continuing this business, um, even once I step away, but with uncertain staffing and uncertain funding, he does waver in whether that is a realistic option for him long term. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, well, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, I'm happy that you're able to to work with your son in that management role. So it's pretty cool to be able to do that. Yes. Final question for you today is all subjects open. What inspires you most, Kathy? Well, I think um, my theme for life largely is the Imagio Deo, that every single person bears the image of God. Every single person that we support is an image bearer of God and entitled to dignity and respect and love because of that. And every single person that we hire, although they may be very different from me, have very different values than me, but every single person on our team, every person that we interact with is an image bearer of God. And so when we can see that in each other and value that in each other, it 
absolutely drives all of our relationships, all of our interactions, and what we look for um, in how we can support and care about one another. Beautifully said. Thank you so much. That brings tears to my eyes. Um, absolutely beautiful. So if somebody would like to connect with you, Kathy, whether it's to use your services to possibly work with you and your mission, what's the best way for them to get in touch? Well, the easiest um, thing to remember is our website because it's just www.bridgesofwisconsin.com. It's a lot of letters because you do need the whole word, but it's easy. Um, but you can also call us at 262-338-4941 um, and we'd love to talk with anybody about any interest that they have in Bridges, uh, whether it's our services or being a part of those services. Well, thank you so much for sharing your business, your services, and I wish you the best of luck in the future, Kathy. Thank you.